Good afternoon, my name is Jason and I would like to show you a new feature of eBird that allows you to define a trip and put all your checklists for that trip under the same heading so that you can view all your summary statistics for any trip you define. Now it's kind of cold in Canada but I'm hoping to go birding today to show you this new feature and I'm hoping to see at least one bird. So let's go birding. I made my first checklist at the experimental farm Arboretum in Ottawa. I only saw four species here. I think there are more squirrels than birds. I crossed over to Carleton University for my second checklist. Although I saw many of the same birds, because the Rideau River isn't frozen here, there are a few new and interesting species such as common merganser and common goldeneye. I also saw the white-breasted nuthatch and the black-capped chickadee. In the end, I saw ten species. How do we make the eBird trip report? In eBird, under the My eBird tab, go to the left and click Trip Reports. Now, click the Create Trip Report button. You'll be asked to give your trip report a name. You also have to fill out the start and end date. Finally, you can control whether the report is public or not. There are no checklists on the list because I have not submitted my checklists yet. Once I have submitted my checklists, I can go to Edit and then Manage Checklists. Now, the two checklists that I did on December 12 appear. On the summary screen, I can see a nice map of the trip's birding locations. I can also see the total number of checklists and, most importantly, the total number of species. Another cool feature is the narrative. In the narrative, you can provide a small text summary of your trip. I'm quite excited to use the new eBird Trip Report feature when I go on multi-day trips, and actually I can even use it to summarize my past trips from existing checklists. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and good luck with your birding.